Hi, Brian Brospell here. Uh, it, dog days of summer are here, and good thing uh, I have a company called Northland Tackle that I can get tackle from because if they're not hitting the butterfly bay blades, I go back to my jig heads, and I have an RZ jig. We have kind of a bait crisis. I can't get good baits, so I'm using little fat heads and still catching nice walleyes. I'm locked into one here. Uh, tough bite, but you can make it happen. Basically, you got to stand on top of them. Spot lock. There's a good one right there. Oh yeah. Uh, fish love leeches or fatheads or anything that you can put on a jig. And uh, the RZ jig is one not to forget about because it has a it has a a, a semi long shank, but not the super long shank, so that you can use small bait. And you can see what's left of my fathead. Not a giant minnow by any means, but in the dog days of summer, fish like this absolutely love minnows still. There's a beautiful walleye. I'm going to let him go. There's a do and a don't when it comes to fishing in the summertime. Don't go with not enough tackle and rods. I have 20 rods in a boat, but you don't have to have 20 rods, but at least have different offerings and different things you can give the fish. Let me let this one go here. There you go. How you doing? Uh, Bottom bouncer and spinner. So a rock runner bottom bouncer with a butterfly blade is an excellent way to go. You can see right now we're pitching jigs. Uh, so have a bunch of different things. And then slip bobbers. You can't beat slip bobbers. But with a butterfly blade, you can go slower. Traditional spinner blades are nice. They have a nice thump to them. But I like that real light plastic, slow moving butterfly blade when you're dragging leeches, even a fat head on the back, bottom bouncing. Uh, but me, everybody knows I love jigging and I've gone to the RZ jig on these smaller minnows. So get out and hit the water, tie up some bottom bouncers, some RZ jigs, and bring some slip bobbers. Oh yeah, I love it. Not every, uh, every spot, not every cast, but you can't catch fish from your chair in your living room. Get out, beat the water, grab some RZ jigs, stop at a bait shop. They're relying on you to come through. Here we go. This one is on a... I have some shiners, but there's three fish on a fathead right now. Oh, it's a ni another nice one. Here we go. Thanks, Jack. So, remember, get out. And during cold fronts, I do more of a twitchy hop. And uh, so just in instead of ripping it like we normally do, or lofting it, twitching, they're, they're keying in on crayfish this time of year, and they just kind of twitch across the bottom. There's a nice one, and that, that would probably be a keeper, but I'm not going to keep any fish today. There you go. See you later. Uh, one thing to remember, water temperatures, 70 to 74, depending on which body of water you're on. Bring some puppet minnows. Ripping puppet minnows works. But if, you don't, if you're seeing fish and you're not getting them, go back to jigging a minnow in the middle of dog days of summer. Give it a try. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleyes. Look at that right there. <laughs>